Next, the men's 110s are next. Ronaldo Nehemiah, the collegiate record holder. That's coming up 30, 40 years. Devin Allen has the meet record from just four years ago. And Grant Holloway has the best time in the world this year at 13.15. There he is. He is the hardest working man in track and field here at the NCAA Championships. He runs on both relay teams, and he also long jumps. He won the SEC Conference meet, but he did not score here in the long jump after this race, his semifinal race, where he looked pretty good, Dan. Well, he really did. He usually does what he needs to do in the qualifying rounds, and then he steps it up into the finals. He's just a little bit quicker. He's just a little bit sharper in those finals, but an easy cruise through here, but he had to walk directly from the hurdles over to the long jump, and he never seemed like he fully recovered. Kept waiting for him to get a big jump out there, and it just never happened. Had a couple of jumps over 27 feet at SECs, but just got ninth place. No points for the Gators, but the Florida sophomore has the fastest time in the world this year, but he knows he's capable of much more. At the SEC meet, I, I wouldn't say that 13-15 was my best executed race, so I know there's more in the tank for me, and I know what I did wrong at that meet, so I'm hoping to um, fix those mistakes, and let's have, try to have a perfect meet at NCAAs now. Well, with that disaster in the steeplechase to Brian Barraza of Houston, that's going to really sort of stifle their ability to get into the mix as we look at Ruben Walters. Holloway with a lot of pressure on him here to win because they need the points, but Ruben Walters will give him everything he can handle. He was second in this race last year. Well, Ruben Walters on paper and the times, he's run some outstanding times. We've seen him press a little bit in championship races. If he can run a clean race, he can run a fast race and challenge Grant Holloway, especially on a day like today when the conditions aren't so great. This rain, rain in the face, water on the track, that sometimes is a little bit of an equalizer. The start's going to be very, very precarious for all of these athletes. They push so hard to get to the first hurdle. If anything goes wrong, it's usually between the start and the first hurdle in rainy conditions. Of course, Ruben Walters and Grant Holloway are very familiar with each other running against each other all year, as is this young man, Damian Thomas of LSU. Three SEC hurdlers right in the middle of the track. And he was eighth at the 60-meter indoor hurdle race at the NCAA Championships in March. Well, he picked a fantastic time to run a personal best, 13.44 in the prelims. Just a freshman. You look down the list here, got sophomore, a sophomore who's leading the country, leading the world, and a freshman right next to him. It says a lot about the hurdles in the years to come, not only in the SEC Conference, but nationally. And that is how the rest of the field will line up. Thomas in three, Holloway in four, Walters in five. Also watch David Kinzera of Illinois. He is at both these 110 hurdles as well as the 400 meter hurdles later on in the afternoon. But it is all about Grant Holloway right now. He is three for three in NCAA championship hurdle finals. And with some hiccups that the Florida men have had over the last, at least over the semifinals and some problems in the finals with field events, he really needs the 10 points this victory will bring him. Watch Ken Zira from Illinois. He really attacks the last four hurdles. The last part of the race is his best part. All the way with a so-so start, but he's still over the first hurdle first, and he's already in control. Brad Holloway just needs to stay on his feet, stay out of trouble. Here comes David Kinzera on the inside. Here comes Damian Thomas. It's Thomas challenging. Whoa! That was way closer than it looked like it was going to be at about the sixth hurdle. It looked like he was going to run away with it. And then Damian Thomas and David Kinzera came like a house on fire the last three hurdles, and Holloway holds them off. It ain't about the time. It's about the victory. Well, this was an outstanding start for Grant Holloway. He did get to the first hurdle and managed to run it very well. And he was clear of the field through five hurdles. And on the inside, Damian Thomas, you wondered why he was so close. Well, the time just wasn't really that fast. Damian Thomas, though, did a good job of running his own race in his own lane. But you see what just makes Grant Holloway just such a great hurdler. He's stepping down over the hurdles while everybody's jumping into them. But I think Damian Thomas to his left, I don't think Grant could see him. He just kind of felt him at the last second. 
But look how square, look how still Holloway's head and shoulders are as he gets over those hurdles. That's what makes a great hurdler. The last guy to repeat as one 10 meter hurdler was another Florida Gator, Josh Walker, back in 2004, 2005. Boy, the Gators need those points. Holloway wins it by a slim hundredth of a second over David Kinzera, who really, really came on the last three hurdles, as you said, Dan. And he has to get ready for the 400 hurdles later. Damian Thomas picking up third for the Tigers of LSU and Grant Holloway downstairs with John. Grant Holloway, it was a blowout right up until the end when it wasn't. Uh, comfortable over the sixth, seventh hurdle. How'd he get so close late? Just break the floor, lack of focus on my part. Um, I mean, I, I'm not really worried about it. At the, at the end of the day, 10 points for the team like always, and another national title. Yeah, at this point, the, the long, first place is first place or no place sort of in, in your drive for the championship. But uh, how much did the long jump fire you up for today? Fired me up, it fired me up a lot, you know. But then also, my mom, Back at home, just sent me a text saying, you know, do what you do best. So thank you, Mom. I love you. And thank you for everything that you do for me. And thank you for always supporting me. All right. And you said that after the race the other day, uh, or after the uh, the race in the long jump, you needed to get rested up and you got to get prayed up. Now, do we have to do that for the 4 by 4 as, as well? Always got to pray. Pray is the first thing you got to do, John. <laughs> Grant Holloway, champion again in the hurdles. Holloway, four for four now in NCAA championship hurdle finals, but that one was a tough one, and the pressure was on him for those 10 points for the Florida Gators he delivered.